She's okay and calling in the situation on his radio. Can you tell me what's going on? Why are you in the wrong lane? Can you tell me why you're in the wrong lane? Duran only replies when the officer asks whether she needs an ambulance. What's going on? Can you tell me what's going on now? Please? Are you okay? Do you need an ambulance? Are you all right? Okay. When he asks if she's been drinking, she reverts back to silence. Have you, have you been drinking or anything? It doesn't look like you've been drinking. It's then that Duran reaches for something in her middle console. Adams can be heard asking her what it is before realizing it's a gun. What, what do you got in there? What do you got in there now? What do you got in there? What do you got in there? Oh! Adams grabs her arm before backing off and shooting at her. What do you got in there? What do you got in there? Oh! Immediately, Adams puts out a shots fired call and yells for Duran to stay still. 225, shots fired, shots fired. Don't move. All units, go nine channel one. Responding units, Sam 25. Are you okay? Are you okay? When backup arrives at the scene, Adams removes the gun from the vehicle where Duran is already unresponsive. I've got the gun secured. No response from her. What do you mean? People downrange appear to be code four. Let's get her out of the car. You get the gun, I'll get her out of I'm, the car. Yeah, I'm trying to do okay. all that, man. I, Give me a minute. You grab the gun, I got her. Just get that out of here. I don't think so. Hey, get her out. 191 Sam Robert Tom 191 Sam Robert Tom We're going to need all of them Sound and TV Stop We're going to need Team Sound We're going to be probably at Pier Stop I got no pulse Alright I'm securing this man We have it for that in our design I'm securing this in my car Adams then approaches the Jeep parked nearby Asking if everyone inside is okay Are you alright? Copy we have fire started Are you okay? No one inside the Jeep was injured, but a bullet hit the windshield. Adams can be heard apologizing to the people inside before breaking down. Ma'am, are you okay? I'm so sorry. So sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm very glad we can get you this pass Lamar for Westbound and Sure Home and Selby. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. He 
I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakak Wadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and Ruel. Peace and salutations to the elect and much respect to the brothers pushing this word in the four winds of the earth. And shalom to you, few sincere sisters out there as well. It's Brother Ariyah coming at you with another lesson. And before I start my lesson, I want to say the water to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, for making an example out of uh, polite, a.k.a. dark winged duck, you know, talking shit about the prophets, being a straight up asshole. And it was beautiful how the Heavenly Father let that all play out and made him uh, do the, the very thing that he was accusing the prophets of, man. Okay? And now he got... He got to do seven years. I, you know, all the brothers is talking about it, but it's just a beautiful thing. And, you know, we know seven is completion. And he got to do, uh, I believe, 10 years of, of probation or parole, right? And if he breaks that parole, then he'll get, he'll have to serve all of his time, which I believe is 61 years. And we all know six plus one is seven, man. You know? But the thing is, he's going to die in there, man. You know, I don't believe we're going to be around here in Babylon the Great for seven more years, man. Okay? So he's going to die just like Sarah Connor did in her in her vision, Terminator 2. The only difference is she was holding a fence, and he's going to be holding them bars. This is Ecclesiastes 9 and 13. It says, Keep thee far from the man that have power to kill. So shalt thou not doubt the fear of death, and if thou come unto him, make no fault, lest he take away thy life presently. Remember that thou goest in the midst of snares, and that thou walkest upon the battlements of the city, man. You know? And a lot of these women out here, you know, getting taken out by these cops, man. Or being roughed up, you know? Because they're not being compliant. They're not listening. And in these uh, two videos, both women got shot and killed. By the police now the first cop the first uh video they was itching to do something you know they was you know they didn't play it but the cops was like yo stop you know get out the fucking car like talking to her like that and you know she got they went they ran up on her car because you know she was shoplifting or whatever you know but she was pregnant you know she got put to death her and her baby man you know that was all ordained by the heavenly father you know, and the, the second lady, you know, I don't know what the hell was wrong with her. Probably had a rough day or a rough couple of weeks. Couldn't take it no more. And she just did a, you know, <laughs> just made a suicide movement. Like, you know, fuck it, you know. So she knew what was going to happen when she went in that middle console and pulled that gun out, man. You know, and you could see it in her face, man. She was just ready to die. Like she was she was definitely going through something, man. You know, and uh, a lot of people are, are talking about, you know, the first video of saying the cops was wrong and all that. But she was trying to pull off on them. The cop was in front of the car and she was using the car as a deadly weapon. You try to run somebody over with your car. That's you using your car as a deadly weapon, you know. So he shot. He shot at her ass, man. Even though he moved out the way, he shot at her. You know what I'm saying? And that's what's going. That's what's that. That's what happens, man. When you don't comply, man. You know, yeah, Romans uh the thirteenth chapter speaks on that. Romans thirteen. I'm gonna read one through four, and it says, "Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of the heavenly Father. The powers that are in, the powers that be are ordained of the heavenly Father. So the powers that be right now are ordained by the heavenly Father, man." Whosoever therefore resisteth the power, resisteth the ordinance of the heavenly Father, and they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. For rulers are not a terror to good works, but to the evil. Wilt thou then not be afraid of thy of the power? Do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same. For he is the minister of the heavenly Father to thee for good. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid. For he beareth not the sword in vain, 
for he is the minister of the heavenly father, a revenger to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. Okay? And this is why a lot of these cops out here killing Jakes, man. Because these Jakes are straight up evil, man. Straight up wicked. Okay? So the Heavenly Father is putting the spirit on these particular cops to take these people out, man. Okay? There be spirits created for vengeance. You know? When people just, you know, think they can do whatever they want, act however they want. They be disrespectful, and they don't think any consequences are going to come their way. They think they're just going to go on about their, their day like nothing happened. Nah. Why? Because they're not recognizing the times that we in, man. They're not paying attention. You know, everybody's stressed out, man. Everybody's having a hard time paying bills, putting food on the table, just out here barely surviving. To anybody can snap at any given time. Even a cop, especially a cop, they got that double pressure on them, man. Every time they go out, they know that they can get shot and killed, man. Let's get Proverbs, uh, let's get Proverbs 16, read 18 through 20 real quick. And it says, pride go up before destruction and a holy spirit before a fall. Better is it a better it is to be of an humble spirit with the lowly than to divide the spoil with the proud. You know, in both instances, if the women were lowly, right, and put their pride aside, the woman could have got out the car in petty theft. You know, if she would have been in New York, they, you know, uh, not New York, uh, yeah, New York or California, right, for the little petty theft, she would have got, you know, they, they would have let her go. You know, she wouldn't have had no charges filed, man. You know, and that's what's going on right now, man, in California, man. If you if you get locked up for any petty crime, that's not that's a nonviolent crime. You won't you won't you won't be uh, uh, prosecuted for it. The R O R U released on your own recognizance, and you'll go home. And I believe the same thing is in um in New York. You know. If you get caught for stealing or something like that, they won't lock you up, you know? So, you know, these things are happening for a reason. Esau, of course, is trying to start, you know, just, you know, this chaos, man, you know? So he's he's passing these laws, you know, to let everybody, you know, purge, you know, basically, man. And it says, he that handleth a matter wisely shall find good. And whoso trusteth in the Lord, happy is he. You know? So if those women would have chosen to handle those situations better, they'd probably still be here to walk the earth, man. You know? But they didn't make a wise decision. You know, that's why the scriptures say, you know, a woman is a, a foolish woman is clamorous. You know? Let's get that real quick. And I don't want to just make it about women, even though there was two women you know, in the videos, but men do dumb shit like that too. With the non-compliance, talking back, being disrespectful, and what happens? They in a pine box, man. You know? Same thing happens. Let's get uh Proverbs 9 and 13. A foolish woman is clamorous, and she is simple and knoweth nothing, man. Okay? There's a lot of foolish women out here, man. There are only few a few wise women out here, but many foolish ones, man. And both of those women were foolish, okay? Well, the first one was definitely foolish. The second one, she looked like she wanted she wanted to die, man. She couldn't take, you know, what was going on in her life. You know, the, the stresses of, of, of trying to survive out here probably took a toll, a toll on her, man. And she was ready to get up out of here, you know? Clamorous, man. It says making a loud and confused noise, a jostling, a clamorous mob. Definitely sounds like a Jake woman. You know, noisy, loud, vocal, you know, rowdy, rackety, tumultuous, shouting, shrieking, screaming. Okay. Now the first woman was definitely talking back. They was asking her to get out the car. She talking about for what? You know? You know, being combative, you know? So the Heavenly Father took her ass out, man. 
Simple as that. A lot of people are mad over that, but that's that's what it is, man. When you act a certain way, you get what you get, and that's what she got, man. I don't feel sorry for her at all, man, you know? If you don't like what I'm saying, it is what it is. I'm always going to give it to you raw. I'm not here to, you know, <laughs> go along to get along, man. So I don't care if you don't like what's being said. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. The Heavenly Father ordained for her, for that woman to die, her and her baby, man, and the other woman. You know? That's just that's just how it is, man. Let's get Sirach 39. I'm going to end it here. I didn't want to make it long. Uh, let's read 20, uh, start at 24. And it says, And his ways are plain unto the holy, so are they stumbling blocks unto the wicked. <laughs> you know? For the good are good things created from the beginning, so evil things for sinners. The principal things for the whole use of man's life are water, fire, iron, and salt, flour of wheat, honey, milk, and the blood of the grape, and oil, and clothing. And all these things or for good to the goodly, so to the sinners, they are turned into evil. And both of them women got that fire, that iron, and that fire, man. You know? And it says, there be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. At the time of destruction, they pour out the force and appease the wrath of him that made them. You know, so the Heavenly Father put out them two deaf angels, you know, to do what they do. And that's that. You know, the, the, the second cop was definitely remorseful, you know, not because he shot that lady, but he almost killed an innocent bystander, you know, because a bullet went through their windshield, man. He was just talking to them, you know, and he could have possibly killed one of them, you know, but an angel probably blocked the bullet from hitting one of them in the car, you know. But there are spirits out here that are created for vengeance, man. You know, we're going to see more and more of this, man. More people getting shot down by police. More women getting shot down by police and roughed up. More men, too. More children. You know? It's the times that we're in right now, man. And it's only going to get worse. It ain't going to get better. You know? So I just wanted to bring this out real quick and show these two accounts. How the Heavenly Father, you know, takes people out that don't listen or take heed to the to the people that he set up to give order you know this is why the apostles always tell us if we're before a cop or we get pulled over to be respectful as possible to use wisdom to get ourselves out of the uh, situation unscathed you know so we can get home you know and not be locked up or worse you know Gotta use wisdom out here moving in these streets, man. Shalom.